Hello, I'm Peter Stewart, and you're joining me on the Short Daily Podcast as I write my book called Get a Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. And it's a bit of a work in progress, it has to be said. So some of what I bring you, the kind of audio version of the of the text of the book, some some of it may need to be kind of rewritten. It's a, it's a work in progress. I'm writing it on a day by day basis and bringing you the audio version as well. So what I thought I'd do today is bring you some of the preface of the book and then some more of that tomorrow. So uh, for the next uh, week or so, it's just going to be the introduction to the book. It's going to be looking at different aspects of voice, the overview, if you like, about what the book is going to be promising. And then later on, we're going to be starting off talking about the breath, about sitting, about breathing, about the actual sound of the voice, about the larynx, about lip control, uh, tongue control, forming the words, all sorts of things. That should take us uh, several weeks into this new year. And then later on, we're going to be talking about intonation and projection and pause and mic technique and all sorts of different things. But uh, as I say, for today and tomorrow, let's have a look at the preface, because this is what I've drafted so far. As teenagers, we learn how to present the best of ourselves with makeup, grooming and stylish clothes. Later on in life, we're free to change almost any part of our body, from tummy tucks to boob jobs, pec implants, teeth braces and hair transplants, extensions and colourings. But what about our vocal image? Either people don't know how they sound, no one tells them, they don't care, or just don't realise that they can do something about it. After baby babbling or reading aloud in class, barely any attention is paid to how we actually sound. There's scant advice on improving our voice, let alone how to look after it. We learn how to speak simply by mimicking. Unless we take expensive lessons, rarely are we taught how to support our voices, how to sit and breathe properly or how to read aloud convincingly. In fact, sometimes we actually have to unlearn the natural techniques that we were born with. And yet communication with the human voice is more prolific than at any other time in our evolution. Look at the stats. Thousands of TV stations around the world. Russia's got 3,000 alone. UNESCO says there are 44,000 radio stations. There are 34 million podcast episodes, 1.3 billion YouTube videos, plus millions more audiobooks, commercial voiceovers, e-learning commentaries, business-related video calls. This book and the podcasts help you become a a stronger voice communicator on all of those channels so you can better compete with professional actors or presenters on the likes of the BBC, ABC or Gimlet. It focuses exclusively on your vocal image on audio and video channels with two main aims. To get you a better voice for audio and video and to show you how to read out loud conversationally and convincingly. You've invested in your look of choice, now invest in your voice of choice.